Alright, hey guys, welcome to Digital Signal, and today I'm going to be telling you how to change an HP Pavilion M6 laptop. As you can see, my screen got broken about halfway through. Um, I started by accidentally hitting it, and I got a little crack in the corner, and it wasn't too bad. Uh, then after it dropped one more time, uh, the cracks kept spreading, and they kept spreading, and then it took up half the screen, and I couldn't see anything anymore. So I got my new screen in the mail. I'm just opening it up here now, as you can see. So the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to turn the computer off and remove the battery. We don't want any power going through any of the circuits while we're working. Your second step is to then remove the black outer frame for the screen. Now the screen itself just pops out, so just get your fingers down the side, or if you have a tool, you're just going to want to run your fingers around the sides to pop the screen out. Uh, just be a little careful. Now as you get to the top, you will have to deal with the webcam. Now the webcam itself is a little circuit board with a wire connecting into it. Now you can keep the wire connected to the circuit board and try and push the circuit board to the uh, the back casing, uh, but I found that a little hard, so it was just easier to unplug it from its cord and remove the whole webcam uh, circuit board itself and just keep going around. Now as you get to the bottom, it gets a little bit harder. Uh, the screen is glued to the front of the casing, so you will have to uh, deglue it and separate that. So just go a little slowly with your finger uh, or a tool if you have one until uh, the screen and the board are separated. Now you will not be able to remove the whole black outer casing itself because it is connected to the screen through, uh, with a silver um, foil. So you have to remove the screen in order to fully remove the black outer casing as well. To do that, you just have to unscrew four different screws on the screen. They are located in the top left, top right, bottom left, and bottom right. Now the bottom ones are a little bit hard to get to because the uh, casing is there. So what you're going to want to do is you're just going to pop it out of its hinge socket and just carefully bend it and move it just enough so that you can get to the screw. Once you've unscrewed everything, you can then pop the whole screen out of its socket, and the black casing will come with it as well. Next thing you want to do is just flip it over, and you're going to want to cut through that silver foiling. Now, it does have um, rip divots in it already. If you want to do that, I just used a, a knife to be a little more careful. So just cut right through it, and you'll have successfully removed your broken screen. You can also remove the silver lining from the back cover as well, which I do uh, later on. Next step you're going to want to do is you're going to want to open up your new screen and take it out. Take a look at it, and it still has that circuit board that it was connected to. You just won't. It just will not be physically connected to the black outer casing as it was. Now the next step is what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to connect the display cable. Uh, now it is uh, glued up against the backboard with an adhesive tape, uh, and it's supposed to go into the bottom back of the new screen, as you can see here. Now it can seem a little difficult just trying to do it up against the back cover. So what I did was I just peeled it back uh, from the adhesive a little bit, so I had enough room to just put the screen down onto the keyboard and uh, have the ability to just click it in to the screen, as it was a lot easier that way. Now you can do this one-handed if you pull the video card back enough a little bit, but uh, my brother was in the room, so he gave me a little hand in trying to click it in. So once you click the video cable into the correct back slot, then you can just go ahead and put the new screen into its slot. Make sure everything is back, so push the, uh, the adhesive back for the cable and make sure it's not blocking off any other wires. I'm checking the webcam cable as well. So if you did remove the webcam like I did, you want to put the cord back into the slot on the circuit board and put the circuit board back into its place. The next step you want to do is you're going to want to take those screws and screw the new screen back into its spot. So now that you have your screen screwed in, you're going to want to go ahead and put the battery back into the computer and test it to see if the screen works to make sure that uh, the video cable is plugged in right 
as well as um, the webcam. Just plug it in, hit the power button, and go ahead and see if it works. And as you can see, the screen works. Everything is plugged in correctly then. And I'm going to wait for the computer to start up so that I can test the webcam because I did remove the circuit board. So I just want to give that a test. While I'm starting the computer up, I'll go through the little pouch of tools that I had in the beginning uh, that you had seen. I had just got this for around... Uh, five bucks on eBay. It was just a little tool set. Uh, it was mostly for use for removing phones, but it came with a um, little tool to get under the sides of the screen to pull them back, as you can see here. This is the tool that I used to remove the black casing. As you can see here, it came with three different screws, just in case, depending on uh, what type of screw your computer has. And it also came with a pick uh, which you can use to place behind parts of the casing that you already removed so it doesn't click back into place. I didn't uh, end up using it, uh, but you can if you want, if you have it available. So my computer finally started up, and I opened up the webcam program that I have, and it works. So every cord is in where it's supposed to be, and it's working fine. The next step of what you're going to want to do is remove the screen film cover uh, that it comes with. I know it's usually good to keep the screen cover on, but the casing won't click back in because it has a side tab. So you just want to go ahead and carefully remove that from the new screen itself. And the last step is to click the black outer casing back into its socket. And there you go. Everything was tested, everything was working fine, and it's back to as it was new. So thanks for watching Digital Signal. Please subscribe. If you have any other questions, comments, or want us to do other tutorials on tech devices, please comment in the comment section below. If you like this video or want to see other tutorials on tech items, then please subscribe, and thanks for watching.